Welcome. This video will launch the third session in the Elementary Professional Release course looking closely at digital student work. Again, this is session three where we'll be sharing student work, commenting, and then reflecting. First, I want to thank you. Today, I'm unable to be in the class, so we'll use an online instructor-free format. Um, I really want to thank you because uh, as much as I was bummed that I would have to miss this class, I thought the agenda for this class with us, the goal of sharing student work and the goal of getting peer-to-peer -peer feedback about that work um, made it kind of an acceptable format for us to, to uh, operate without an instructor. So I hope this works well for you and thanks in advance if there's any ambiguity you have to struggle with. Um, the goal is that you'll be sharing your work in a common space. So thanks again for your willingness to share. Hopefully you do have some student work to share. And the idea here is that pooling all these, these samples of student work will just give us a range of work to look at. And then finally, um, thanks for collaborating and reflecting. So thanks for sharing your learning with me and of course with your peers. So the objectives today, first we're gonna share an artifact of student work connecting to digital writing standards that we've looked at or the construct we talked about last time which is hanging out, messing around, and geeking out. Um, the second objective is to comment on fellow participants' work in order to provide peer feedback. And then finally, you'll have a chance to reflect on, feedback, on the feedback you get and the work samples you've seen. So the resources you'll use today are first, this video. Um, secondly, we'll have a digital agenda, which you'll see here in just a second. And then of course, we'll use the online community that we've been using in the previous classes. Let's start by looking at our community. So if you log into your Google account, and once again, click on your name, you'll see communities on the left-hand side and then when you go into communities, you'll see our community, which is Aurora Public Schools EPR Digital Work. So what I've done is I've pinned the agenda at the top of the community, which is where you'll find the Google Doc that we've used, kind of a running agenda that we've used for the last two meetings. So again, at the top you see our essential questions and then the agenda for session three, about 10 minutes for this video. And then after you watch this video, the first objective is to share your work. So I want you to take just a minute to talk with your neighbor or partner after you're done with this video about how you've engaged students with digital texts and tools since our last meeting. Talk about what's been successful and what's been challenging. And then for this meeting, I asked everyone to bring one artifact of student work to share. So I'll ask you to post it under the work samples thread in our community. Along with the link to your artifact, include a short reflection about the work, explaining how it connects to one of the lenses we've used in this class so far. So these are right here below. If you're saying, what lenses? They're right here and they, they'll be familiar to you when you look back at them. So the digital writing standards, if you click through to this link, you'll see a, a familiar page. Maybe I'll click through just to show you. So here's this page. And once again, if you just click on this, this image, it will open a PDF. And here are the standards that we're hoping to have you reflect on. Now, if this one doesn't, doesn't show the grade level you want, you can come back and you can find this second link has each grade level. That's probably the better one to use. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Okay, so as you can see in this one, it has each of the each of the grades K through six, 
So this is probably the better document to choose. It's that second link. So back to the agenda. You'll post your, your work sample along with a short reflection explaining how it connects to one of the lenses we've used so far. So one of the lenses, again, is just to identify a standard that connects most closely to, that talks about digital writing. The second choice is to apply the construct hanging out, messing around, and geeking out. So again, those definitions are right here, and they should be familiar to you from last time. So let's go back to the community where you'll post that. So as you'll remember, the community is, is organized with these threads on the left-hand side. And you'll be posting under work samples. And you can see here, I'll zoom back out a little bit. You can see that I've posted an example right here. So, so what I did is I posted one paragraph that it's an example of, of a reflection that connects to standards. And then this other paragraph is an example of, of how I would connect to that hanging out, messing around, or geeking out construct. So you don't have to do both. You can do either or. And then I've got my video that I showed last time. So that should be familiar, and that's the example for you. So let's come back to the agenda. So that's the first part. And the important thing is, once you've got that done, that should be about the first hour in class. And if you finish quickly, well, that's good. And hopefully that's just a benefit of, of having an online format here. So this is also important to say, this is the point at which, if you need help posting student work, this is where I would hope you ask my colleague Jan, who's there to help, to help you. And it's fine to post either a screenshot or a link to the student work. So again, that's your first hour. Um, in the second 60 minutes, the goal is to comment on other participants' work. So the goal for this time period is to ensure that everyone who's posted receives at least two comments on his or her work. It's probably best to identify whose work you'll comment on face-to-face -face and make sure everyone's accounted for. So once you've identified who you're gonna, who you're gonna comment on, I'd encourage you first to click through a number of work samples so you get a sense of the types of artifacts and assignments that are represented in the community. For every work sample you look at briefly, click the plus one button. So let me just show you what that looks like. If I'm here and I'm looking at this, I can go ahead and if I've just looked at it quickly, I can just click the plus one button. And in that way, people will see that somebody's checked out their work. The second thing we want you to do in that second hour is to review at least two participants' work samples and write a short response to them in the comments below the work sample. In your comments to them, you have your choices. You can identify something you admire about the work or the assignment. You can respond to the reflection they've written. You can identify another standard that might also apply to this work. Or you can ask genuine questions about the work or the assignment. Any of those is acceptable. So. Because we're allowing an hour for this, please do take time to familiarize yourself with everything that's being posted. So in the final 60 minutes, I'd like to ask you to draft a three paragraph reflection about today's work. So these are possibilities for, for your paragraphs. You don't have to write one paragraph about each of these. You might write three paragraphs about any one of these. But this is just an example. So. So the first question is, which of the comments you received helped you think more about your assignment or your student's work? What did the comment make you think or realize? Which of the work samples that you skimmed seems useful to you? How might you use that type of assignment or idea in your own class? And then finally, reflect on how this sharing process worked for you. Was it useful to have participants work in a shared space instead of submitted only to the teacher? Did the digital agenda and the online community help you work independently? 
Did you have any concerns or frustrations as a result of today's format? So these final reflections, instead of going under work samples, please post them under meeting three, Monday, January 5th. So you'll click on that. and then post your reflections here. And when you're done, click share. Again, making sure that you've chosen meeting three, Monday, January 5th. So those are your instructions for the session. If you have any questions, please email me with questions. And my email is jedillon at aps.k12 co.us. So thank you very much for watching. And again, thank you for being able to work in a collaborative and also self-sufficient way since I'm unavailable for being to be in class. Thanks again. Goodbye.